Hi, I'm Pat Cash. In 1987, I served and volleyed my way to Wimbledon title. The serve and volley certainly hasn't died. There is some tactics to it, and there is some art to it. There's also some very important technique things that you need to learn. Well, without stating the obvious, you've got to understand that the volley is a touch shot. There's no big wind up, no big back swings as in the ground stroke. The follow through does need to go right through the ball. Now, if you're snapping at the ball, you lose control. A smaller backswing, big follow through hitting through the ball cleanly. It gives it a really nice, clean hit. Oh, what a Masterful stroke. Touch of genius. Well, back in my day, we were naturally down lower. A lot of the courts were quicker, so it was a natural place for us to be, is down in this sort of position. First of all, you're in a, you have a really good solid base on your legs. You're able to push off quickly. You're able to get down to the level of the ball. And of course, all importantly, is once you're out of position, you can quickly get back to the position. Well, apart from the technique and, of course, the movement of the volleys, it's the tactic. When do you use the volley and what volley do you use when? These days, you're seeing a lot more angle volleys trying to get run the opponent off the court and finish the point off quickly. Oh, that is Federer at his very best. Brilliant. What a start to the game. Easy point, and the best of the tournament so far, quite possibly. One of the crucial things about an angle volley is you still have to keep the wrist reasonably firm, because you have to get around the outside edge of it, particularly if you want to hit a cross-court volley. If you break your wrist too much, you're going to lose control completely. Ooh, baby. Like that. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're off to the famous Queen's Club for the Aegon Championships. And we're at the Gary Weber Open in Halle. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, My ATP, powered by Vixlet. And on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.